Teamwork. Um, I guess teamwork for me would be, uh, you know, people coming together to work together, a common goal. I think uh, my role is to kind of be a leader um, by working together, by working hard, you know, um, show, show how teamwork has worked for me in the past and show how it can work for us in the future and making sure that people are all on the same track and, uh, and getting along and working along in the right way. It means a lot. It means the world to me. You know, I, I came out of school where I wasn't really um, being, you know, highly recruited. Uh, you know, Iowa State was one of the teams that were there with me uh, from the beginning, you know, and to, to come here and to, uh, you know, be here for, for four years and to go through things that I've been through and to be a part of this school, it means a lot. And it's just been, um, it's just been a great experience for me. Hilton Magic and our fans, uh, the best, that's what I'm gonna say. They're, they're the best group around. You know, they're, they're energetic, they're, they're fun. Uh, they're always uh, positive. It's fun uh, when you see someone in the crowd, you know, cheering you on or smiling when you hit a three. It's what we live for, it's what we play for, and the fans here are, are the best and, and one of the most supportive, I think. When I step on the court, um, I want to leave the best player on that court. You know, I want to leave the hardest worker, the most productive. I want to be known for what I did on that court. And I hope that I've done that, and I, and I will continue to work hard on that, and, and hopefully down the line, uh, when I'm done playing basketball, I'll look on the legacy that was, that was really pretty impressive and, and, uh, and something I could tell my grandkids. Uh, I guess one that I, that I have and I use often is that, you know, leadership is, is through service. Uh, that's something that I, you know, I, I use uh, constantly and, um, and I'm built to last. This is a, uh, you know, a phrase Coach Corn always uses, you're built to last, you're built to last. And, um, and uh, just that, you know, you, you have this persevering power, this persevering strength in you. Uh, you know, to overcome, you know, any adversity that's, that's put in, in, in front of you. So those are two of the things that I think are two expressions that, are, uh, that, I, that I try to live by. This idea of teamwork, the idea that, um, you know, people can come together uh, for a common good, um, that people, you know, who don't even know me, who uh, uh, embrace me at this university, both athletically and academically, and, um, and just all the tools that I've learned here. Um, just to take that on to the next level and to um, continue to use that in my life. And, and um, uh, I think that that's one of the, the things that I'll be uh, most able to take away from me that are tangible and, um, and just, you know, show people how great of a university Iowa State is and, uh, and there's so many things that I've learned and how they helped me develop into the man that I am now. Um, he's really been a mentor to me. You know, Coach Fred, when I see Coach Fred, I see a lot of the things that I strive to be. He was able to uh, you know, he was able to choose the same route that we're taking and make something out of it. You know, he's successful, he was smart at Iowa State, he was a, a great player, and he made it to the NBA. And, and these are all things that, you know, that I hope to have, and, uh, and that's really inspirational. And, um, and, uh, and he's, he's been at the forefront of everything, and definitely of, of, of me maturing and me becoming, uh, you know, a better player and a better person. I just try to lead them by example. I just try to show them how I work and how they should work. You know, this is what we've done and this is how we've done it, and we have the potential to do even better. Game day is exciting. There's nerves, there's excitement uh, in all the practice, all the workouts, uh, everything that we do is, is all in preparation for game days, and, um, and that's what makes basketball fun. When you can go out there, represent your school, represent your brother that's sitting beside you and your coach, you know, just playing and playing and, and being a part of the game is what, what basketball players live for. Uh, I think I have to say my mom. Uh, you know, my mom has gone through a lot as a single mom, you know, caring for a lot of a lot of people and she's always been that rock in our family. For for me, you know, doing what I do and uh, and playing and, and getting through the things I do I always look back on the things that my mom had to endure. She's a uh, uh, you know, really just uh, the key to what I do and, and is really um, you know, a, a single person who motivates me to, to be better and to do better. Uh, I used to I used to wear number number 10 um, for my uncle. Um, who, you know, who had inspired me to play basketball, who helped me, you know, come down to the United States. And, and I used to always just try to get number 10, but then I figured, you know, I'm going to college and I want to be my own person. I wanted to choose a number, uh, you know, to represent myself, to represent my own legacy. I am Melvin Edgem, and I play for Iowa State.